Howdy mates, here's my second video I wanted to make for today. So we've only moved just slight, just a slight bit. We were actually sitting at that last bench over there. So I just decided to take a little walk down. I'm going to mention briefly about some of the history that is part of Salina. So one of the first settlers during the time went by the name of uh, I'm trying to remember, James W. Riley. Yes, that's right. He was actually a well-known uh, captain. He was a merchant. Yeah, he operated merchant ships. And so, he decided to go up to New York State during the time and begin some surveying. So at some point, James, he actually came to this part of Ohio, and he started to survey the area. And, you know, due to how fertile the soil was and just how much potential there could be for agricultural expansion, he decided to incorporate a town that he decided to call Salina. Surprisingly, there was actually a city that I believe is still in existence that is also called Salina. But instead, it starts with an S. Unlike here, it starts with a C. And he wanted to do that so there could be avoided confusion for the post offices. And so that's why this town starts with a letter C as opposed to an S. But yes, he was a well-known surveyor during the time. And here it kind of talks a bit more about his background, too, and how it was founded. Okay? But, um, yeah, I mean, here it also talks a bit about the oil wells, how that became a really big thing around here. Now, in terms of whether oil drilling is still a thing, around here I'm not entirely sure because as I mentioned in my last video you can no longer see all the oil wells that used to be out here but you figure way back in the you know mid 1800s that was a big thing back then Pardon me for the loud car. That was that was really noisy. But yeah, here it just talks a bit about the uh, early history. You know, it, the county is named after Hugh Mercer, which he was an officer from the Revolution, and this county was actually administered by Dark County in 1824, and one of the first towns to establish was St. Mary's, but then eventually as it got into 1839, Salina became the new official county seat. So you have to figure, you know, there's a lot of history out here. And like it even mentions too, a lot of the famous tribes included the Delawares, Seneca, Twaitwees, Wyandots, Ottawas, and Potawatomis. And so, there's a lot of Native American history out here, too. I mean, just the amount of trees that used to be out here. I mean, you, I mean, just look how flat the lake is, too. You know? It just did not always look like this. And then, like, the lighthouse is actually inspired by uh, Captain James Riley. Because he had a deep love for the sea. But yeah, I mean, as I was saying, Grand Lake St. Mary's is really one of the main attractions in Mercer County. However, though, it's also one of the most contaminated uh, lakes in this part, too. So unfortunately, the value of the lake has really went down over the years. I mean, personally, I actually remember when I was really young, probably about 
uh, five or six. I actually remember swimming in the water and I had like a little bit of these red dots that were all over me. So it's possible that it was kind of like a reaction that was happening with my body because of all the algae that was in the water. So I thought I would share that with you guys and once again, that is a piece of Salinas history and journey on a journey is outwards. Take care folks.